Hello and welcome to our 5 minutes with Ekaterina Russian poetry. This week the majority of Christians would celebrate Christmas and I want to wish you a Merry Christmas. And uh, for today I prepared the poetry of uh, great Russian poets about the Christmas. As you probably know in uh, Slavic word or partly in Slavic word we would celebrate Christmas later on personally I would celebrate it on the 6th of January on the night it will be the Christmas Eve on the 6th of January and 7th of January is my Christmas but I want to congratulate all of you who would celebrate it in December and let's read together the first poetry dedicated to Christmas and it's Afanasy Fiat. We read together other poems of Afanasy Fiat and uh, I think they are very beautiful. Let me know what, uh, what do you think, have you watched this video? And today I want to share one poem about Christmas. He has actually two poems about it, but this one is sweet and uh, very short, easy to learn if you want to impress your friends. Let's read it together. Явление ангела пастыря. Встаньте и пойдите в город Вифлеем, души усладите и скажите всем. Спас пришел к народу, спас явился в мир. Слава Вышних Богу и на земле мир. Там, где отдыхает бессловесно тварь, в яслях почивает всего мира царь. As you remember, the poetry of Afanasy Fiat is uh, reflecting the nature in a very good way and it's uh, quite straightforward, uh, it gives you the direct message. And uh, the next poetry is a little bit more allegorical, you don't need to think about the allusions, you don't need to think about comparison when you read it. And uh, this poem will show you a little bit different aspect of the Christmas as the time of enlightenment and uh, as the time when this light comes to the earth. The poem was written by Isabella Grinevska. Звезда. Рождественская песня. На широком небосводе, в звездном ярком хороводе, светит дивная звезда. Всюду луч она заронит, где людское горе стонет. В села, рощи, города, луч доходит до светлицы, и крестьянки, и царицы, и до птичьего гнезда. Он вскользнет и в дом богатый, и не менет бедной хаты. Луч волшебный никогда, всюду ярче радость блещет, где тут звездный луч трепещет, и не страшна нам беда, где засветится звезда. As for another famous poet, Alexander Bloch, he decided to describe the whole Bible story and to show the omen of the future betrayal of Jesus by Judah. Let's read it together. Был вечер поздний и багровый, звезда предвестница взошла. Над бездной плакал голос новый, младенца дева родила. На голос тонкий и протяжный, как долгий визг веретена, пошли в смятенье старец важный, и царь, и отрок, и жена. И было знамение и чудо, в невозмутимой тишине среди толпы возник Иуда в холодной маске на коне. Владыки, полные заботы, послали весть во все концы, и на губах Искариота – Улыбку видели гонцы. Quite a different perspective we see in the poem written by Eva Afonskaya. She decided to show our present day feelings when we celebrate Christmas. And this one is especially touching and uh, especially exciting because uh, we are now preparing to all these celebrations. Снег идет на Рождество. Падает, как милость Божья. Снег идет и волшебство в этот день случиться может. Тишина и чистота, ничего их не нарушит. Верь, недаром красота, раз она спасает душу. Свыше послана тебе чудодейственная сила. Это смысл в твоей судьбе и разгадка тайны мира. Снег идет и чуть дыша, смотрим мы на мир крылатый. Пробуждается душа, омертвевшая когда-то. Снег идет, снимая боль, у земли обледенелой. Ты подставь ему ладонь, приземлится ангел белый. This year was a little bit harder than usual years and uh, I want to wish you a Merry Christmas, I want to wish you the great Christmas to celebrate it with your families uh, in your close circle and of course the Christmas is a time when we should be happy and uh, joyful and thankful for what we have. 
write me about your plans for celebrating Christmas this year and uh, please share your favorite poem dedicated to Christmas if you have one. Don't forget about your likes, uh, subscribe for the channel and consider supporting me on Patreon so in the next year I will continue to create these videos for you. Thank you very much for watching and I hope to meet you after the Christmas, which will be soon. Goodbye for now.